Hi everyone. In this demo, I'll show you how you can review the common control library in AWS Audit Manager. AWS Audit Manager provides you with an efficient way to identify AWS data sources that map to your portfolio of compliance requirements. This library simplifies the process of automating risk and compliance assessments against enterprise controls. Before we go over our demo, let's first cover some definitions. AWS Audit Manager helps you continually audit your AWS usage to simplify how you manage risk and compliance with regulations and industry standards. The service does this by automating evidence collection so you can more easily assess whether your policies, procedures, and activities, also known as controls, are operating effectively and to help consolidate your audit reports. When you create an assessment, Audit Manager automatically runs resource assessments, which collect data for your defined in scope AWS accounts. The data that's collected is automatically transformed into audit friendly evidence, which is attached to the relevant controls to help you demonstrate compliance and security, change management, business continuity, and software licensing. This includes frameworks such as SOC2, DCI, NIST, GDPR, HIPAA, AWS Operational Best Practices and much more. To get started with controls, you can create your own from scratch or make a modifiable copy of an existing standard or custom control. You can use the custom controls feature to create risk assessment questions and store the responses to those questions as manual evidence. In AWS Audit Manager, controls can automatically collect evidence from AWS CloudTrail, AWS Security Hub, AWS Config, and AWS API calls. Through control libraries, you can assist an audit owner by reviewing evidence for controls that fall under your area of expertise. So diving into the common controls feature, this was launched to help organizations consolidate requirements that are common across multiple compliance frameworks. This reduces the need to review data multiple times, which helps customers understand their audit readiness across multiple frameworks simultaneously. With that, let's dive into our demo. AWS Audit Manager is a regional service. This ensures all evidence collected is regionally based and doesn't cross AWS regional boundaries. We are focusing on US West 2 for this demo. This feature is available in all regions where Audit Manager is available. First, let's go into the Audit Manager service. Here you can see the initial dashboard if you have already enabled Audit Manager. There are ways to filter and get an overview of current assessments and showcase your current evidence here. Now let's go to the left panel and click on Control Library. You can see the common control library here and you can filter into the domain you're interested in. For example, we can look at identity and access management and we can filter further into authentication and access control. A new list will populate at the bottom and you can see multiple common controls related to the filter. Clicking into the common control called Administrative Account Password Management, for example, we can get the description of the control and can see in the evidence source that it shows what resources are mapped to the data sources for each core control. In the Related Requirements tab, you can see which various compliance frameworks the common control is mapped to, which helps remove the duplicate work. One other thing is that you can also now use the common control as a data source to create a custom control. Let's go ahead and create one. Going back to the control library, click Create Custom Control here. Give the control a name and a description if you'd like. In testing information, you can provide details on how your team can test this control, then hit Next. You can now choose multiple common and core controls here for the AWS managed sources. I'll choose a common control for this demo using Administrative Account Password Management. You can additionally choose a customer managed data source. There are multiple options, but in this demo, I'll choose an API call here from this list. I'll set the frequency and then hit Add Data Source, then hit Next. You can optionally add an action plan if controls need to be remediated, but I'll hit next here and hit create custom control to complete this. And we're finished. I do want to note that AWS works closely with compliance professionals 
security assessors, and auditors. This helps identify these common requirements across frameworks and to map them to the data source level, which helps remove a lot of the guesswork and heavy lifting for our customers. Thank you for your time and ensure you consult the AWS Audit Manager documentation if you would like to dive further into this feature.